Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Miss Gold. Today I'm going to be answering a question I've been getting asked a lot since the patch dropped, and that is what stats am I using and what build should I be doing? So I have spent most of the week testing. I've done some solo shuffles. I've done some three, a lot of threes, done no twos. Oh, I've done some twos and I've done some RGs. So I've done, I've done all this week. I'm gonna give you the stats and the builds I'm using. And in my opinion, these are probably the best builds you can use for any scenario. Starting off with Solo Shuffle, there's actually two builds you can run. You can Fist Weave or you can Mist Weave in Solo Shuffle. And I'll have a separate section for Fist Weaving, but for this, we're gonna be Mist Weaving Solo Shuffle. I go Haste Verse and I run Four Set. So um, I have a ton of Haste. Let me see, I have my PvP Arena Haste right here. I rock the Four Set, I have 24% Haste. I have the Crafted Ring and I just have a PvE neck. So you get, do a ton of haste, and these are my talents. So you get a lot of value out of your Misty Peaks and your Yulon because it's just insane hots. Your, your haste is so high, your hots can be ticking faster. You're going to get a lot more value out of it, especially when you proc in Misty Peaks. You also run Shaylu's Gift. It's really, really good in Soul Shuffle when you combine it with Shadow House Lessons. These buffs are really good, and now that you can see which buff you're going to have or you're going to be getting, you can kind of plan ahead. Um, so yeah, this is what I run. Nothing too crazy here. Love it. Um, if you don't like Shaylun's gift, it, you know, for some reason you don't want to cast it, you could probably go secret, double secret infusion, go one secret infusion, one song of Chiji. Either one of those works. I think they're both really solid. Um, but you know, Sh Shaylun's gift is actually pretty good. Next up, we have Fist Weaving. Fist Weaving is also going to be Haste Verse. I love it so much. And these talents don't really change. This is what I run every single time I Fist Weave. There really isn't much I would change. The one thing I would change is probably drop this if, you, if you're, you know, playing as a ranged class or if you have a slow on your team, you could drop it for... Um, Escape from Reality. There really isn't anything else I would change, though, for, for this build. I think this is really solid. You're going to go straight down to get Feyline, Stomp all the way down to Awaken Feyline, and then you go Misty Peaks with uh, Rising Mist. Again, Misty Peaks get, gets a lot of value in this because you are playing Haste Verse. You have a ton of Haste. When it procs, it's, it's going to be really good. And with a change to Thunder Focus T and Instant Velpy Mist, it's just even better. It, it's even better. For this set as well, you do not need to run 4 set. Actually, you probably shouldn't run 4 set. What you're going to be running is Haste Verse. Verse, no four set, so you're gonna get haste versus helm, shoulders, chest. I go crit out um because mastery you get no value, and then I gem for haste verse. I've seen some people gem for stamina and verse. Either way works, it's fine. I think the, the you know it's fine. I like haste verse though, and yeah, still same thing. Ton of haste, very like no mastery, and then verse. For twos, again, I, there's two different builds. You could Fist Weave, which is using the exact same build that I just shown you with Fist Weaving, or you can run something similar to the Haste build that I showed you in Solo Shuffle, except I, I kind of dropped Shaylun's Gift in twos. I don't know. I, I just not really a fan of it and I because I really like Song of Chiji, and then I just put one last point in Secret Infusion. This last point can honestly go anywhere. You can take it and put it into Rapid Diffusion. Um, and you can put it anywhere you want, but that's what I've been running in twos. It's really, really good. I'm, I've mostly been Fist Weaving in twos, so I would use the Fist Weaving build if I, if, you know, I, I was curing with like a Demo Lock or your something a little bit tanky um but yeah that's what i've been running in twos now i spent most of this week testing threes i did a lot of threes we actually pushed like 300 rating this week which is absolutely insane and with that build i go verse mastery in normal three normal threes <clears throat> i go verse mastery and this is what i run every time i think this is probably the best build you're gonna see for normal threes i don't think it, this is like one of the only builds where i don't think i would move a single point the only condition where you would is when I was playing with an Affliction Warlock, you drop Song of Chiji because you do not want to dispel the Affliction Warlock's dots, whether it's by mistake or, you know, or on purpose. You don't want to, you know, dispel their dots. So you could go into Mending Proliferation here. You could even put a point into Secret Infusion. You could just go just plain Shaylun's Gift. It doesn't matter where this point really goes. Um... You could even put a second one to Rapid Diffusion, which is what I'd probably do, actually. Um, but yeah, this is the best build you're going to get for threes. It's Verse Mastery with four set. So what I do in normal threes is I go right here. I have my 
verse mastery so i have 117 mastery with 11 percent haste i have the crafted haste ring because i you want a little haste you want more you want like eight to ten like 11 percent haste and then i also have the crafted neck which is huge mastery and i also have a crafted boots which makes it so i have verse master my boots and then it also i forget what it's called embellishment it gives me when i'm above 90 percent health i get 220 mastery that's what this buff is right here so it just gives me extra mastery when i need it and i don't know what my stats are actually um um, yeah, 12% haste, 122 percent mastery, 26% verse, and I do run four set. Uh, everything besides, I think it's the shoulders. Yep. So that's why I run for normal threes. I didn't forget about RBGs either. This is the build that I run for RBGs as well. Not much has changed since last patch. For the stats for this, you're going to want to run haste verse. Again, getting a lot of value out of your thoughts, and you're going to try your best to get a lot of value out of your Misty Peaks and your Dancing Mist. So Dancing Mist gives you a Renewing Mist a chance to just spread to a nearby ally. And then your Mist Peaks, that's a chance to proc Envelopment Mist off of Renewing Mist ticks. So you're going to get a lot of value out of spreading your Renewing Mists and Envelopment Mist from that. On top of that, Invoker's Delight gives you a ton of haste as well. So you're just going to run a ton of haste. You're just going to heal a lot. I have never, ever been out healed. Not once. I think there was one RBG I did like 42 million healing. It was like a temple of Colt Mogu. It was the most healing I've ever done. So I would say this is the best build for RBGs right now. There's not much I would change about it. You could probably drop Manning Proliferation and go second Rapid Diffusion if you really want to. Um, I like Manning Proliferation just because you're going to be healing a lot of different people. So the spreading of, of Envelope Mist is really, really nice and helpful. But again, not mandatory, but I like it. Finally, just a little bit of PvE. I do Mythic Plus as well. And this is the build I've been running. Not much has changed, except I did drop Manatee for Legacy of Wisdom. I really like the additional healing from Shaylin's Gift for this. And the reduced cast time is really, really nice. So I like Legacy of Wisdom. I've been playing around with it. I really like it. Um, but that's pretty much it for this build. There's really nothing I would change. There isn't much I have changed going from dungeon to dungeon. No, not that I can think of your, it's just fist weaving, except you go Shadeland's Gift instead of Misty Peaks. And that is pretty much it. This is every build that I run and have been running. And that's what I'm using to just climb rating. So if you have any questions at all, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that's it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later.